Hey guys, me again, welcome back. Uh, it still has rain clouds, but the weather broke. Uh, somehow this place missed the rain. But anyways, gonna go out for our first run on with the Cloud Neo, as you can see. So got the local high school racetrack behind me. I'm gonna go for a short run, let you guys know what I think. All right, let's see how this goes. Okay, did a couple laps on the track. Uh, this track is not as squishy as the one at the Air Force Base. Uh, don't know what to say about that. Anyways, when I first started wearing the Cloud Neo, it felt a little loose in the back. I was worried about that, but I was able to uh, not put a runner's knot on it, but I was able to double tie my shoelaces and that kept them in place. Felt a little tight in the front, right above the shoelaces, but within 50 yards of the first lap, it felt okay. Uh, these shoes actually feel pretty durable, amazingly. I guess uh, when they used all the different forms of P-backs to make the shoe, uh, they knew, what, I don't want to say they knew what they were doing, but yeah, they knew what they were doing because this thing feels pretty durable and stable. I uh, did feel a little bit of the speedboard in there, but I was going slow, so I wasn't doing any sprinting or anything. I'll have to check that out later. Uh, we're going to see how the three... Uh, cloud tech pockets do next uh, but I'm pretty impressed with these shoes still to, trying to figure out in my mind if $29.99 US dollars a month for six months is worth it but I'll give you my thoughts on that more in a little bit right now let's check out the, the cushioning on the cloud tech pockets okay let's uh let's take off one of these shoes and see what's going on hard to do one-handed Okay, so the upper still looks very clean. The inside has a couple dog hairs. This is what happens when you own three dogs and one of the Great Pyrenees. Happy birthday, Belle. Uh, but check out the sole. So this is just running on a track for four laps out there. I did pick up some dirt along the way. You do have a little bit of ant hills going on back there. Uh, on does have a 30 day full refund policy on their shoes if you wear them but the catch is you have to wear them indoors this negates that this video itself also negates it but anyways uh this shoe does feel pretty good if i didn't say it before it's uh 9.6 ounces i believe for a u.s size men's 10. uh it's got a nine millimeter drop i still don't think this is the lightest shoe that on makes but they say this is the lightest on running shoe so maybe they don't count the cloud x as a running shoe anymore i'm not sure but i think that was the lightest one uh again this shoe should cost for a subscription it's a six month minimum uh 29.99 us dollars or 34.99 canadian dollars or maybe 32 british pounds maybe 31 british pounds somewhere around there it's a almost equivalent but 29.99 euros uh, a month for something like this which comes out to roughly 180 us dollars for a a running shoe and uh, i'm gonna say that should be a performance running shoe this again if you are an avid runner you do more than 20 miles a week i know some of my running friends actually would laugh at that but that used to be my max in the army uh, I think that would be worth it. I was an early adopter of this. I signed up for the Cyclone program back in 2020, uh, shortly after I got injured after the uh, Charlotte uh, Hot Chocolate 15K. And because I was an early adopter, uh, they're giving me two months free. So this is not sponsored by ON. Uh, I need to say that right now, even though it looks like half my channel is ON stuff. Uh, that would put me at roughly 140 I think and that is actually a pretty decent price for me for a running shoe uh, again I will be doing multiple videos we'll probably do one at the 50 mile mark because I'm really curious how the p rubber like sole right there holds out I'll do one at the six month mark to let you guys know what it looks like afterwards 
I don't think you're supposed to dye these at all. I don't think you're supposed to color them or anything because they want to make it environmentally friendly. And also, I think it affects their recycling process. I did send an email out to On asking them about it, but they haven't responded back yet. So maybe I'll hear some next week. All right, if you have any questions, uh, let me know down below. If you like what you see, comment, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Till next time. Bye, guys.